over a half an hour and it's past nine o'clock at night. I, I cannot help you. Okay, I'm just trying to explain to you. I cannot fix this for you. I can't help you. It's just, I can't do it in that amount of time. I mean, and hang up. Then go to Walmart. Did you say, Walmart. I'm sorry, I'm so sorry. Did you say I did. Okay, you know what? The only is you because you've sat here and basically made fun of the fact that everybody else on the planet doesn't have any money but you. I don't know who you think you are, but I'm the wrong I'm the wrong and it's past nine o'clock at night. I've got to do. Do you understand me? And it's not to make a cake for you. It's not to make a cake for you. Do you understand to lose this number? You've made two key mistakes already. One, first mistake, yes. You should not have answered that phone after business no. hours. After you told her it is nine o'clock at night, I can't help you. You should have then stayed at your business hours and hung up. Yeah. All right. All right, what do we got here? Colorado small business owner went viral after filming herself being disrespected by a customer. Cake shop fountain in Colorado. See what you got? For a half an hour, and it's past nine o'clock at night. I I cannot help you. Okay, I'm just trying to explain to you. I cannot fix this for you. Over a half an hour, and it's past nine o'clock at night. I I cannot help you. Okay, I'm just trying to explain to you. I cannot fix this for you. I can't help you. It's just, I can't do it in that amount of time. You realize that I am the one with the money, right? And you're not? Karen's the one with I the money, sweetie. Hiring. Wait, why does she have your personal number? It's probably her business Ma'am, that was incredibly rude. I don't know who you think. Uh, I'm trying very hard to remain professional. Uh, I can't understand where you think you're coming from with that. I have other clients. Okay. You've made two key mistakes already. I mean, yes, answering has spent, the business some, phone. After okay, Sarah. fine. <laughs> Three mistakes. As someone who has spent a good portion of his life working jobs where you have to deal with the general public. One, first mistake, yes. You should not have answered that phone after business no. hours. You should have a separate phone that would be your business phone. And if it is going to be a mobile phone, you turn it off yeah. when you leave and you turn it back on. So once, yeah. once you close up shop, I'd even say leave it there. So that it's on a charger in the shop and that's the company phone. If you're going to use this mobile phone as your company phone, it needs to behave like a company phone. You, you can't call Walmart at like, or Target at like fucking 3 a.m. <laughs> There's no one's going to answer the phone. There's no one in the building. No there should be no one it. in the building. You shouldn't have even have answered. But since you did answer, uh, first mistake you made was after you told her it is nine o'clock at night, I can't help you. You should have then stayed at your business hours and hung up. Yeah. That's yeah. it. That's, that's, yeah. that's how that should have went. Do not give her the chance to retort, to argue yeah. with her. That's non-negotiable. Your business hours are what your business hours are. You've called me outside of business hours. As a courtesy, I answered the phone to remind you what our business hours are and to... You know, you didn't even have to tell her it was nine o'clock. Yeah. You should have been like, you've reached us after business hours. I'm sorry, I can't help you right now. Our business hours are seven uh, to 6 p.m. Uh, Monday through Friday. Uh, feel free to contact us again during business hours. Thank you for being a loyal customer. And then you hang up. Yep. Boom, that's it. And then you don't answer, turn the fucking phone off. But instead, she retorted with the, I am the one with the money. <laughs> you understand that, don't you? I have um, the money. Ignore that. You yeah, just have to ignore that yeah. statement. Like, she said other stuff after it, claiming what she wants. You just double down on what you said before, and then hang up. Say, ma'am, I'm sorry I can't help you right now. Uh, what you're asking can't be done until we return to business tomorrow morning. If you need it before then, I apologize. It is know. really hard to ignore that statement, because that is... You um, just have to. You just I, have to. I know, but I'm Since she saying. did mention money, what you can do is uh, offer her a refund. 
So there you go. You, you awesome. can have your money back as a passive aggressive way to let her know that your money ain't that goddamn important. Yeah. I don't need it. I'll give it back to you. Like, like that's um, I'm the main character energy right yeah. there. But yeah. Or yeah, that's that the team. passive aggressive way of saying you're right. You are the one with the money, and my business does need money to survive. However, it doesn't specifically need your, your money, money, so I'll give it back to you. Yeah, that's how you do that. But let's see how she handles it. It's ...that book two or three months out for me, and there are only a few in there that I'm actually designing myself. I don't even know how you got my number. But oh, this is... It's not the business number. I need to have this done. It needs to be taken care of. It's not going to happen with me, but there are other bakers around the city that can help you. I, maybe. I'm, I, I'm not sure. And hang up. I mean... And hang up. Then go to Walmart. Go to Walmart. Did you say, Walmart. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. Did you say? I did. Okay. You know what? The only is you because you've sat here and basically made fun of the fact that everybody else on the planet doesn't have any money but you. I don't know who you think you are, but I'm the wrong. I'm the wrong. And it's past nine o'clock at night. I've got to do. Do you understand me? And it's not to make a cake for you. It's not to make a cake for you. Do you understand to lose this number? Oh, go. oh, I can't believe you. Really? Talk. Yeah, you should have hung up a long time ago. Oh, she's crazy. She's yeah. crazy. It, the minute, which, all right, first of all, the fact that she's. I don't she even, the literally fact that clutched she's, her pearls about that shit. The fact that she's filming this means that this is not the first phone call conversation with this lady. She knew. They've already had a conversation. She's, she's hung up, and this chick, this chick has called back. No, they've had conversations where she was probably more more professional before this, and then she hung up, or she ended the conversation. She probably did what I said at the beginning multiple times, and this chick keeps calling back. Yeah. You shouldn't have answered anymore. But I can see that you're frustrated because she keeps calling back, and there was an escalation. And you decided, oh, I'm going to film it. Because... Why would you be filming yourself answering a random phone call from a number you don't know? Well, it's her husband in the bed next to her. Yeah, yeah, but, but she probably does. But yeah. but that's what I'm saying. Does, does yeah. he pick up his phone and film her every no, time she answers but, a phone but call? No, but she probably said this no. is that same you knew crazy that this, bitch. You knew this call. Who's been calling me, leaving messages or whatever she's been yeah, doing? Yeah, you knew this call would lead to something. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so that's why I answered. Shouldn't have answered it. Um, <coughs> after the first time, she called. And you realize that this customer sets not her business phone because she says, I don't know no. how you got this number. Which is even more mind-blowing to so me. The, so the customer found your personal phone number and called you. And after the first time you realize that a customer had gotten your, your personal phone call, you should have done the polite thing, like I said, remind her what the business hours are and then what the business number, number is. is. And then hang up immediately after hanging up, block that number. Block her number. Who does that shit? Like, immediately block her number. Or just turn your phone off, wait an hour or two for her to give up, and then turn it back on and block the number. If you're scared, you can't block it fast enough. I don't enough. know. It sounds like she is but, not the type to give yeah, up Yeah, no, easy. she's a Karen, and it's the same shit. I've, I've, I have dealt with that so many times where somebody, oh, yeah, yeah. somebody has been... I mean, I was the front-end manager at a Walmart for a while, and I've been to that customer service desk, and I have people call me every fucking name under the sun. And yeah, yeah. yeah. One day I had a bad day, and I started calling them shit back, kind of with the kind of like what this chick did, and I got mm. roughly the same response. The how dare you <gasps> talk to me like that? Yeah, and they want to make a scene. That's like, what they want. Like they want that reaction from you, so they can play victim. That's what she was fishing for. And you gave it to her. And now you've gone viral. And she's... Well, she didn't go viral. No, no. But, yeah. Film owner goes viral. Uh, uh, business yeah, owner I, went that's, viral. That's not... No one knows I, who, the, who the chick on the phone is. But everybody knows who you are now. No, I'm saying that's not really what I got from it. It was more of... She, you know, filmed this. And people are, like, stunned. Well, we'll see. We'll see if they agree or not. I don't know. But even know what to say. I don't even know if we post that. No, absolutely. You nope. Your husband's a moron. You don't post that. We are we are we are living in the age of uh you know, we're living in the age of outrage culture. Everyone's a victim and I guarantee you Yeah, I'm sorry. Hold on. Let's let's can we check 
What are the comments looking like on this? All right, let's see. Somebody's paying the shop a visit. No, she got a bunch of retail people taking her side. I'm looking to see if I can find any of them that are actually on this woman's side. But it's just a bunch of other retail work. Every retail worker on the planet's gonna have yeah. this side. Oh, yeah. Like it's just yeah. that's, that's this is so refreshing to see. Not really. Um I mean, yes, every this is therapeutic for every retail worker. But this is every employer's worst nightmare. You don't want an employee that does this. Well, hey, that's our business. <laughs> um But I'm saying a bunch of retail workers saying it's refreshing and cheering her on may encourage them to go do this at their jobs that they mm. don't own. So yeah, as I a business, as, as like a manager at a Walmart or a manager at a big box, you don't want employees to do this. And if they're watching TikToks like this, and then they're going to, I'm going to do that next time I go to work. I, and yes, that did happen. I had, I had chicks. I was going to say most people attitude, know better, but no. I think young people who haven't yeah. lived a lot of life that happened to me do shit like that uh stop that happened it, to me multiple times yeah. chicks would go on lunch they go to oh, the mcdonald's yeah. and the walmart yeah. and they'd sit there for 30 minutes flipping through tiktok and they'd come to something like this and it'd be like yeah Righteous. yeah it would just it would just this embolden sucks. and then they'd go back to work waiting for somebody because they know what's going to happen and then i have to break up an argument between a a customer and a once again, it's her business. Employee. She can talk to him however she wants to, if he asks me. Yeah. Well... I mean, nobody's not on her side, but there's know. also the there's also the possibility that she's deleting comments. She doesn't. Yeah, she could be. That's usually where my mind goes when I scroll through like a comment section. Yeah, it looks my like my mind this. goes in places. <laughs> no, my mind goes. I'm just saying, like my mind, that is, uh, that's my mind goes to logical places because I understand how the fucking internet works. I've been on it a very long time. No comment section, no matter how right something is, there is no comment section in history that is 100% positive. There will always be someone who will oh, tell yeah, you you're in the I'm wrong. Sure. So when I go through a comment section, and every single comment is positive, there's not one negative, there's not one on the other side, no matter how crazy it is. There are people who believe the earth is flat and you can swim to Mars. No matter how crazy the thing is, there will always be someone who would disagree with you. And when I go through a comment section and there's not a single disagreement, there's not a single person on the other side, they're deleting comments. That's what that I means. Mean, That's yeah. the only way it gets there. She could Because they're be. deleting comments. Yeah. Probably, because she's responding to comments here. And yeah, she's very active in her own comment section. I tend not to even look at mine until I'm, I, I'm uh, I might glance at it days later but I'm not like super on top of it yeah but yeah this main character energy but in yours that customer got what she wanted she wanted the girl to flip out on her she wanted the girl to have a moment I don't think she wanted that I think she literally just wanted that cake for 120 people by tomorrow because i'm gonna tell you what I was going on i'm gonna tell you what's, this i'm gonna tell you what's going on on the other end of that phone call and why they do this shit especially over the phone but now that everybody's got a phone in their pocket it used to happen in person at walmart or you know target you know uh, you see it all, all the time what happened on the other end of that phone call is yeah she's recording it and it's going viral and that's probably the thing that saved her he was probably right to post it because what's going on on the other end of that phone call is this chick's probably recording it too yeah, and exactly. she's trying to get you to flip out and then she's going to cut the part where you flip out mm -hmm. and that's why she played victim immediately after yes. she's going to cut yeah. the first half she, of the conversation she's going to cut, cut yeah. the escalation she's going to cut all the context and she's going to cut this part and post it and be like I can't believe she talked to me like this all I did was call to ask for a cake and she got she just immediately got upset yeah she's and then she's going to paint her own picture and, and, and that's how thing. a lot of that shit happens and whoever, I, basically it's a race, whoever posts first wins because people tend to take shit at face value. Even if you post an apology or something's wrong, 95% of the people who saw the original won't see the apology. Yeah, 
I know that. But I think that I don't care how much, how many retail jobs you've had, working, working with the public in different environments is is a whole nother animal. I have worked with the public uh, in vacation spots. And just the, I don't know what it is about when people go on vacation. I, I guess I do get part of it where you feel like I spent money. But the level of entitlement goes up to 5000 Like, it's unbelievable how they will treat people. The things I have had said to me. Yep, I know. And it is that type of shit. That, yep. that of... Well, I'm some spending just, this much, some, and so you're going some people to do are blah, just, blah, blah, Yeah, blah, blah. some people are just that yeah. entitled, but some of them are looking for some. A lot of them are looking for something for free, so they're looking oh, for yeah, that, that moment yeah. where they can take advantage of you. I have become the master at coming up with creative ways to shut that shit down without having to get ugly like she did. Like, my general rule of thumb for my phone is, number one, if you guys want some general advice on how to handle your phone, even if you don't own a business because of all the spam calls and mm. the fucking pig butchers and shit like that that's going around, number one, if you have a voicemail greeting that you recorded, delete it. Mm -hmm. When they call your number, they should get the Verizon, T-Mobile, or whoever ro robot yeah. voice lady going, you, are, you have reached... Nine, six, nine, two, <laughs> eight, six. Yeah, that just says the number. So, so they don't even know who they've yeah, they reached if they, they, they get reached. the voicemail. Yeah. And then if they leave a voicemail, you always never, ever, ever answer a phone number you don't recognize. If they don't leave a voicemail, don't call them back. It was probably mm -hmm. a scammer. If they do leave a voicemail, well, congratulations. You've screened your call. If you get someone like that who probably did what that chick does, and she's going to call back to back to back even if you don't answer because... Remember, she's not calling the business number. She's calling she called what her. she's been told is her personal number. Yeah. Now, if she doesn't have a voicemail greeting and she gets voicemail, she still don't know if she got the right number mm -hmm. or not. So after you've seen the same number, whether, it be, whether you own a business or not, if you see a number calling you incessantly and never leaving a voicemail and you don't know how to screen it but you want the call to stop, you need whoever thinks somebody, you, you need whoever's trying to get in touch with you that we're not leaving a voicemail. If it's somebody you knew and it's important to leave a voicemail. If it's somebody you don't know and they're trying to scam you yeah. or it's somebody like this that just wants to yell at you for something, then they're not going to leave a voicemail. They're going to keep calling until they yeah, get you. They so you need them you. to think they've been given the wrong number. So what I do is I will wait until I'm around someone else and see that number call again. And I'll have one of the chicks at work answer the phone in Spanish or something <laughs> so that they can just be like, oh, it's a girl, and she doesn't speak English. And I'll be like, no matter what that person on the other end of the phone says, you don't speak English. You understand? I need you to pretend like you don't speak English so that this number thinks they have the wrong number. Here's 20 bucks. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just, just, boom, 20 just bucks. you just get somebody to answer it and speak Spanish. And then that, because if that lady would have called six times, six or seven times, and kept getting voicemail and finally got someone to answer, and that woman's like, Hola, como esta? No, eh? no, <laughs> no, 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 habla inglés, no, 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 and then she hung up, that chick wouldn't call back again, she she'd call be back. like, somebody gave me the wrong number, yeah. and yeah. she would, she they would throw that number away, number. and you, yeah. mission fucking accomplished, you didn't have to go through all that bullshit, what's up Colton, I was scared you weren't gonna, I was scared you weren't gonna come back after I made your friend rage quit, what the fuck was that? You, you bring this guy in, he can't answer a single question, and then you guys just leave the call? Yeah, that's not proper I have etiquette. never seen someone, like, tuck their tail between their, you know, you know, tuck his tail between his pussy and run so fast in my life. You tell your friend I said that, too. He's a <laughs> pussy. Okay? He's a pussy. Staunchly believes and backs something he can't defend and then runs two minutes into the conversation. Shortest debate of my life. Jesus. My nine year old will argue harder than that. 